Yo, welcome on back to the channel, everybody. Thank you for being here and thanks for subscribing to the channel. I don't know about y'all's neck of the woods, but where I am, it has been raining like the dickens. And we just had a mega rain yesterday all day and the lakes are just flooded. I'm talking, can't even get a boat in the water. I'm actually going to uh, hop in the, the golf cart real quick, ride down to the lake and see how actually high it is right now. So let's go see how high the lake is. The rain has just plopped down on us last month and it is so flooded. And I've had like animals coming into the backyard again, like the like coyote, I had a coyote the other day, I had a bobcat, uh, I've had hogs coming back in because there's not as much area around the lake. So all of this, this is new vegetation. It, the water was uh, down past that just uh, just a night ago so it has come up another few feet and uh, the boat ramp I went to was already underwater and the, the water was coming up into the parking lots around the picnic tables and the benches and all of that so it's fair to say um, no one's gonna be out on this lake it's to the point where there's so much water it's it's even hard to find like the carp and all that stuff to go bow fishing because you just go back and it's like just acres of uh of plants and trees and everything like that so we're gonna switch it up y'all and we're gonna head to the deer lease i have a new lead delivery system a very special one i am dying to use and you guys are gonna love it and we'll see what else we can get into down there but it's gonna be a muddy mess i'm sure so we need to go get the meat wagon from the hq and i've got a very special giveaway announcement I need to tell you guys about. I'm gonna need you to get in there. I have to bribe her with the tortilla. Come on in, there you go. Tortilla works every time. Meat wagon hooked up at the HQ. Got the tires aired. She's ready to roll. Who do we got over here? The elusive, the mighty and powerful, Alex Perrick, long hair. And someone you haven't seen on my channel in I don't know how it's long. It's been forever. Grant, is this your first boat, my guy? It's my first boat. 19 years of age, and this is my first fishing vessel, so I'm sure you can imagine. My too. man. Just I, how pumped I am. Pretty freaking pumped, I can imagine he is. Heading out of the HQ with the meat wagon hooked up. It is 3.45 and uh, we're, we're a little late. We're a little late getting out, but that's okay. I was planning on doing some night operations anyways, and I have some tools to do that. I really haven't watched you guys through. So giveaway, huge giveaway, dealing with the night operations and the dangle. Uh, big collaboration with uh, a local company around here in Fort Worth that I discovered I did not know was here in Fort Worth and anyway we teamed up and we've got you guys a monstrous awesome outdoor package and here it is okay outdoor freaks we have got a 10k worth of outdoor gear giveaway huge shout out to all these companies that are helping to do this but let's start it off with a amazing thermal imaging binocular the Pulsar Accolade 2s I've used these uh, for about six months now. They are incredible, and it's gonna be backed up with the Sightmark Wraith. So this is a night vision scope with IR, and to advance that IR, we've got a Sniper Hog IR light. This thing is incredible. It really enhances your night vision scope. Mounted on that, we've got the Kops Jagger tripod with the rifle mount on top so you can get that nice steady stable shot this is just an incredible package for varmint hunting pig hunting uh even deer hunting so pretty amazing stuff you just don't want to hunt deer at night okay don't do that top that off with a top of the line remote game call by ico tech so you've got a, a lure you've got the night vision you've got the thermals you've got the ir light and we're going to be adding a ton of Guggen Squad hard baits and soft baits and other tackle accessories 
So all together around 10K, y'all gotta go sign up. So we're gonna run this contest for a few months. One lucky winner is gonna walk away with all of this gear. Most of the stuff I've been using for a while, it's incredible. Uh, just this alone is incredible. Ad adding all of this is uh, just an amazing outdoor package. So go sign up and good luck. Well, we're gonna be using this stuff uh, to go hunting tonight. I am not an experienced varmint hunter. We do have a, uh, a large population of foxes out here. We also have coyotes, we have bobcats. So I've got this on my, um, my brace built 5.56 rifle. You know, y'all, I don't really do a whole lot of varmint hunting because it often involves staying up late and I'm an old man and I have one child and another one on the way and it involves going to bed early you know i just uh, i don't like staying up late really but here here recently i've been staying up late i've kind of gotten a weird cycle of staying up just a little past midnight so i was like yeah i'll go give it a try so we'll see if these old bones can can hang i'm excited look at this setup right here look at this. just swivel easy mode you know what i mean this is like papa mode right here just taking away taking away the difficulty Okay, oh, we're now at dusk. It's pretty much dark, so I've got the night vision on this camera so we can see a little bit better, but we're pretty much going covert from here on out. We'll take the meat wagon, we're gonna park it out in the field, we'll do some calling, and if we see any pigs along the way, well, we're gonna take care of that as well. stock on some pigs I thought there was no wind but when I got about 150 yards I guess they picked me up and took off but they had some cows behind them I got a bunch of cows around me so maybe all this wet ground is gonna uh, make those pigs come out but uh, I left my gun on the tripod over here we're gonna go pick that up keep cruising Thank you. 
finally slid the lens cover over the scope, over the wraith. And I thought the battery died or something. That one little pig went back into the woods and then I can hear just a bunch of them back there. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some bait out of the meat wagon. I'm just gonna set it out. They're grunting. I can't, I don't know if they're smelling me or what, but they're definitely back there. And I'm gonna see if I can bait them to get them to come out to the road again. They're just in really thick brush. Oh, cheers, baby. Well, y'all, I'm not gonna lie to you. Definitely got tired last night and went to bed <laughs> at midnight because I'm such an old man. Quite honestly, if I was at the top of my game, I probably could have popped a couple of hogs last night but I just had some fumbling errors. I put the lens cap back on like an idiot, but uh, was able to make a huge difference in, uh, in seeing distance wise and just uh, a broader spectrum, better clarity using that new Spot Hog IR. And this paired with that tripod is just an awesome setup for, for going nighttime hunting for varmints and other stuff like that. And uh, I wanted to show you all this because, well, I'm going to be giving it away. The real reason I wanted to come out here to the lease, or I should say my, my number one reason, was to go to the old ways. <laughs> I got to just throw on a little John Wayne action right here because LFD got me an amazing gift for hitting a million subs. My dad, you know, he's my biggest fan. He's my biggest supporter, I think. And we're just at dinner and he just comes and he lays this on the table and he says, congratulations on a million subs, son. So here we go, y'all. Lever action rifle, Western style, man. This is a Henry. And I have been wanting a Henry for uh, for a while. I've been looking for them. I couldn't find one in stock. Pretty pretty hard to do. My dad he found a 17 HMR. They just got one uh, in stock, and he said I gotta have it. And he he actually had a little uh, custom plate made that says LFG 1 million uh, to go right here on the stock. So this is sort of a showpiece this could go on the wall and uh represent you know a trophy and accomplishment and uh it's just cool it's a cool decor piece but uh these henry leper actions are also a just really high quality uh good functioning long lasting rifle and a 17 hmr is uh just a wicked little caliber if y'all have never seen it it's uh it's smaller caliber than a 22 but it's super fast fantastic for squirrels and uh you know pr little predators and things like that and i've i've even taken down about a 300 pound boar uh with my 17 hmr just uh aiming right for that ear hole so it's a pretty amazing little caliber and what a what a fun package to have that in, in a Henry. So I have yet to send the first round down range. So we got to set up a couple of cans and make sure she's working, you know, at least before we hang it up on the wall, we got to put some rounds through it. And I say, I say we do some stocking with it. It just feels like you're holding a piece of history. So I can't wait to ride around with it, walk around with it and uh, see what it shoots like. So let's go. Ah. All right, getting a little morning coffee here at the range. We're gonna set up our can cans on this little post right here. We're gonna see if we can knock them down. I feel like Ralphie from the, the Christmas Story. It's one of my favorite Christmas movies of all time. So look how tiny that is. Just packed with powder though. So this is the magazine tube. This is literally like a red rider right here so you just pull that up and you just feed your feed your little babies down the tube I'm not quite even sure how many it'll hold i think it'll hold about 10 rounds is what it's looking like I'm not sure if you guys can see the cans but they're right there 
Okay, let's give her a whirl. Oh, that's smooth. I like that. Wow. Well, I shot a hole through the can, and the can didn't even move. First round through the Henry, that thing, it, it kicks. There is no kick whatsoever. Okay, knocked down the second can, but just smoked it, y'all. Just smoked it. What a sweet shooter little rifle. Oh my gosh. Just to show you all the hole. Okay, that's the entry right there. Other side, there's the exit. I gotta try this one more time on just a, a little bit longer shot. Yeah, we'll take it down there in 50 yards, see if we can knock one. There, I'm just gonna grab this tripod since I've got it. See if I can hit it with that, and then we'll see if I can hit one offhand. Okay, first can. Here we go, bottom right. Can't tell. Can't tell if I hit it. Go to the second can on top. Smoked it. Smoked I don't know that it. Offhand, I don't know that offhand. I doubt I can. Let's see. If I can't hit it on the tripod, I don't think I can hit it. Got it. Offhand. Yes. Dang gun. There we go. Got it. Okay. Now I'm confident. This thing is just so cool, y'all. And the thing about having a 17 with the weight of this, there's no recoil whatsoever. So, you know, I think for Emmy and, uh, you know, my little boy that's coming along, this this is like a perfect setup to get him started uh, shooting. So, LFD, thank you, man. This, this is awesome. Just saw a couple whitetail. There's usually some pigs that run around in this field right here, so. I'm gonna grab the Henry and do a little walk. Fresh pig tracks all over the place right here. Piggy, piggy, piggy. Coyote. Coyote prints. On the trot right here. Okay, here we are at the infamous cliffs. Y'all, I've driven around a bunch, and it is so thick that, I mean, I've seen a couple of deer, but so hard to see any pigs running around. You know, usually they're just right off the roads, but you just can't see it off the roads at all. I mean, you get off the road and it is just full of flowers. I mean, it's gorgeous, but not good for spotting right now. It's just good to look at. It's just good for your soul. It's goodness. Yeah. That is just Texas. Central Texas in a nutshell right there. My goodness, man. Well, since we got the lever action out here, 
and we're feeling the old west vibes i figured we would uh do a little arrowhead looking just around one of these roads that's been pushed up i'm next to the river where i just was looking down and i'm starting to see a bunch of mussels mussels like this that come from the river and the only way they can get up here all the way up top is if something is carrying them up here and what i'm thinking is the indians there's another one the indians used to eat these and they carried them all the way up here and if you look carefully you can find found a couple of these some worked pieces of flint they're worked on both sides and there's lots of uh, little pieces of flint everywhere chips off of pieces you can tell that a lot of flint has been worked on to make tools and arrowheads and stuff like that so it's crazy here's another shell there's another some other pieces of shells right here and the river is like a hundred yards down it's it's really far down there. there's more shells so you can see this is like an uh, an old camp that somebody had when they were uh, making tools and and eating looks like a lot of shells they're big on shellfish and on uh, angry orchard apparently these are just cool just to know that only a couple hundred years ago there was a lot of people uh, living out here in the great outdoors like seriously living in the great outdoors Folks, the river has done growed up into a jungle. This is the area where I did my uh, my little bushcraft camp, and uh, I mean it looks like Vietnam back here. And obviously, the foliage making it very difficult to see any kind of squirrels. I've been listening, don't hear nothing except the quiet sounds of the river and the birds, which is pretty peaceful. So I think I'm going to end the video right here. Would have preferred that we got something on the old Henry before we hang it up on the wall, but I think it's just going to be, I want to hang it up on an open rack so I can just grab it any time. There's something to be said about just, just walking around holding an old rifle that's really nice. The polished brass, you know, the warm wood, you get a couple of rounds through the barrel, it's just nice and warm, you feel it, and it's just no doodads on this thing. Open sights, very balanced. It's hefty, uh, but it feels good in the hand. I've been walking around with it all day, and I'm soaking in sweat right now. Thank you very much. Go ahead and smash that like button for classic, great outdoors and old school rifles. Thank you guys for being here. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you on the next one. God bless.